Hello and welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to see one powerful add-in in Excel. Couple of days back, one of my friend who works as an auditor asked me a question. He said he has some invoice amounts like this. So it has uh, say $10, $25, $13, etc. And uh, he has a payment of $52. He wants to match some of these invoices to this payment. It could be one invoice or two invoice or it could be 10 invoices. So, but the total should be 52. He asked me whether uh, you can do this in Excel. So I tried a uh, few of the options. I tried uh, using some, some if, etc. Finally, I realized so there is a easier way to solve this uh, problem. Before uh, going to see how we can use the solver to find the solution, we will see how it can be done manually. Suppose uh, if I choose this amount, the 10, maybe 13, 28. So I can see there's a total of uh, 51 here at the bottom. And I know, okay, one more uh, number I can choose, maybe one here. So this makes this as a 52. But this is uh, very manual uh, work. And if you have more than say 1000 numbers, it will be very tough and also this amount uh, if it is say 200 or 300 and the numbers you have to choose from here it could be maybe 50 numbers or 60 numbers it will be very tough. So let us put some formula and see how we can make it little more easier. Let us say if I choose this uh, 10 I will be putting 1 here. Similarly I will put 111 here. So I will uh, multiply this 10 with this 1 to make it uh, 10 here and same formula I will drag it down. So that means this is 11 into 1 it makes uh, 11 here and here again I will put the total. So since we put 111 here this total the column A and the total in uh, column C is same. Suppose if I make this uh, 0 instead of 1, so this is going to be 0. That means your total also reduces. Similarly, I can make this as 0, this 0, this 0. So that means, so we can arrive at some nearest uh, value. I can make it 0 this one, 0 this one. So now we have come almost near to this 52. By doing this, we can arrive at the solution but tomorrow if this amount is changed to something else maybe 60 or 70 again you have to redo the things and this is going to be very tough and time consuming. To solve this we can use the solver add-in in Excel. So solver add-in you can find under data but here this is not available by default so you have to enable it. To enable that go to file Go to options and under add-ins, choose Excel add-ins and click on go here and here solver add-in, mark this and click OK. Now you under data, you can find the solver. So now our objective is to make this value as 52. In other words, we can say equals this minus this should be 0. That means if this value is become 52, then this uh, automatically this uh, difference will be 0. So I will say the difference. Probably I will highlight this uh, value as well. So our uh, objective is to make this uh, 0. Suppose if I make this uh, 0 here for 8, so this is going to be 52. This is how you can uh, manually do it by putting 0 or 1 here. But if I want to use a solver, select the cell here, the difference and go to data, go to solver and here by default uh, it has chosen A19, instead of that we will choose this, this is E19, the value of, we want this value to be 0, so keep it 0 here and by changing the value, say we can't change this A value, A column because this is the given values and C is the multiplication of this and this. What we are changing is here only in the column B. So either we put 0 or 1. If we are selecting in 10, 
we put 1, if we are not selecting, then we will make it 0. So, by changing the value in this column. So, let us see whether it can find any solution. So, I will click on solve. So, it says solver found a solution. So, keep solver solution, click OK. We found a solution, but here the problem is there are decimals. It is not uh, 1 or 0. What we wanted was if this 10 is chosen, this should be 1, otherwise it should be 0. Here, this is neither uh, 0 nor 1, it is somewhere in between. What we want is only the numbers, number nothing but the integers. We want 0, 1 or etc. So, now again we will go to the solver. Select this cell, go to data, go to solver and here under uh, constraints, we will add some constraints. So, click add and what we want is this cell should be only integer. Click OK. Now, we will try to solve it. What we said is by changing the value in this B column, and also the value in this B column should be only integer. We do not want any decimals, this fractions should not be there. I will click on solve. So, it gave me the answer, solver found an integer solution. So, here we said keeps solver solution. Let us examine the solution it provided. If you look at here, so this is fine, these all 0, 0, 0 is ok and this is 8 uh, into 1, 1 is 8. So, this is chosen. But 11 it chosen 4 times, we should be choosing either 1s or nothing. So, it should be 1 or 0, it cannot be 4. So, again we will go back to the same solver, select the cell, go to the solver and here we will add one more constraint. Constraint is we want only 0 or 1. So, we will go to add and the cell reference is again the same uh, B column. And here we will say less than or equal to 1. That means we want 1 or uh, 0 only. And we added two conditions. One is it should be 0 or 1. That is less than or equal to 1. And this should be integer. So, this makes sure that this column will have value either 0 or 1 only. Now, click on uh, solve. So, it says it found a solution. Again, click on OK here and we'll let us examine the solution. So, now if you look at the 3 is selected and 12 is selected, 18 is selected, 8 is selected and uh, 11 is selected. So, total is 52 and what we wanted was 52 only, the difference is 0. Just to make it little more readable, we'll select this uh, cell, go to home, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell greater than 0 whatever is greater than 0 in this cell we will highlight so that we will know okay, which all numbers are selected. So, here selected 3, 12, 18, 8 and 11. Tomorrow if this change to say 60, now the difference is 8, again go to data, go to solver and uh, click on solve. So, if you look at uh, now, this is chosen 3, 12, 18, 8 and 11. So, this may choose same numbers and uh, add one more number or it may choose entirely a different uh, set of numbers. Click solve, click OK here, solver found an integer solution, OK. So, now if you look at see this uh, chosen 3 fine, 18 also there, but it chosen something else, 28 as well. So, that means and again due to conditional formatting, this is highlighted, the number which is uh, other than 0 is highlighted. So, this is how you can uh, solve uh, this type of problem using the solver. So, solver can be used uh, not just for this, it can be used to find the optimum scheduling of machines or optimum sh allocation of the employees for each uh, shift based on certain uh, conditions and also maybe to find out the or maximize the profit in a business using the different resources or the available resources. Hope you find this uh, video useful and you can apply it to your uh, business scenarios. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to receive more videos. Thank you once again. See you again in the next video.